John McDonald case. He was the Chicago teenager shot by a Chicago police officer 16 times, all of it caught on dash cam. What followed was massive street demonstrations and ultimately an agreement with the ACLU that Chicago police would be required to fill out contact cards whenever they stop and frisk someone. According to the report, police stops fell off by 82 percent. Homicides jumped by 58 percent, and there were 1,100 additional shootings in Chicago. The researchers claim criminals stopped fearing that police would check them for weapons. Criminals on the streets of Chicago became emboldened to carry guns. A deterrent effect decreased. And when there were more guns on the street the, uh, uh, being carried by criminals, uh, the predictable result is an increase in gun-related crimes. And that's, of course, exactly what the data show. Now, the contact card has 70 entries that police are required to fill in. The researchers say it takes uh, 20 minutes to fill out that paperwork and therefore deters police from making stops.